Fox 2 is your local election headquarters and Vice President Kamala Harris officially secured her party's nomination today. Yeah, Fox 2's Max Deeknight joins us now and Max, this comes well ahead of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Yeah, George Jasmine, that's right. While the convention is still more than two weeks away, the delegates started voting virtually just yesterday. And while that voting is far from over, the announcement came down today. Harris has already secured the nomination. DNC Chair Jamie Harrison made the big announcement Friday, confirming a much anticipated outcome. I am so proud to confirm that Vice President Harris has okay, earned yeah, more than a majority of votes from all convention delegates and will be the nominee of the Democratic Party following the close of voting on Monday. The online voting process will continue until Monday, even though Harris already has enough votes to secure the nomination. The Democratic National Convention will kick off in Chicago two weeks later on August 19th. Harris reacted to Friday's historic news. I am honored to be the presumptive Democratic nominee for president of the United States. And I will tell you the tireless work of our delegates, our state leaders and staff has been pivotal in making this moment possible. Harris is also in the final stages of picking a running mate. That person will hit the campaign trail with her starting on Tuesday. The race seems to be down to two men, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro. Kelly, a Navy veteran and astronaut, has been an influential voice for Democrats on immigration and border security, a hot-button issue seen as a weak spot for Harris. But the path to the White House likely runs through Pennsylvania, which Shapiro could help lock in. I trust she will make that decision on her own terms when she is ready. And the Harris campaign has already made great strides in fundraising as well since she announced she was running. They've taken in more than $300 million, that just in July alone. And guys, that's more than twice as much as former President Donald Trump's campaign has raised in that time. Some big numbers. Thank you, Max.